Okay, um, nothing fancy here. It's just to let you know that the episode about women is going to be on delay for a long time. Um, yeah, you see, the problem is now, this episode, it's not going to look good, it's not going to be very fancy, but I want to get to it to the point where I don't cause great offence unless I do it on my terms. Um, I'm not trolling. Alright, on today's seed location, we're going to go over the leak translations here. Again, if you want me to shut this down or anything like that, feel free to call me up. I'll shut this down. I'll get a hold of it. She was glad the corpses were gone, even though the sentry was still in the air. Investigator Whitney Frank had already seen some scenes of brutal crimes, but those bodies, looking like ragged puppets with bashed in skulls, had shattered even her. The two technicians wrapped up in wrapped up the heavy sledgehammer, like a camera drone hovering just above the ground. Snapped some final pictures. The other policemen talked to each other. Drank yucca beam and scored through virtual reports. Soon this case too would just be another number in a huge NAPD database of unsolved crimes. Cleaned up the mess pretty quick, she heard a, a, a familiar voice. I take it really exhaust you, wit investigator, in as Diego stepped out of the shadows. Her fingers dancing over glowing pad as always. Yeah, too quickly, Frank shook her head. Somebody wants this matter to be forgotten as soon as possible. But what are you going to do down here? As a member of the subdivision, Django rarely left her desk. The city surveillance grid was her, was her tool. I had a hunch. Dilango responded. The local security camera malfunctioned, but I was able to grab some data from another source. Data of the kind that can make a journalist wet their pants for joy and give the corp nightmares. Of course she had. Django had probably hacked the source herself. The victims all belonged to the human first. Frank explained. Evidence suggests the cop was very tall, extremely strong, and probably massively outfitted with cybernetic enhancements. He killed them all with a sledgehammer. Sledgehammer, <laughs> hang on. Yeah. Just like human first does to the so-called golems. Jango crossed her arms and looked at the ground. A biro did this. Frank watched her carefully. No way biros can, can't kill. They have those directives. But the videos prove opposite. Jango said maybe someone wrote a new directive. <laughs> uh. Terminal Directive is a story-based campaign for Android Netrunner about a series of murderers who were a series of murders who were apparently committed by a byroad. You and opponent take on the roles of either Corp or the Runner for the duration of the campaign. The campaign is played over a series of games that are very familiar to normal games of Netrunner but are significantly different in some points other than the normal games of Android Netrunner. The decisions you make in a game of Terminal Directive have a permanent repercussions for future games in the campaign. During the campaign, both, both you are trying to find the murderer first. To reach objectives, every player will open card sets with new effects that advance the campaign and create new abilities and objectives. Secret packs. Do not open unless you're instructed to do so. Game materials. 163 normal cards. All cards packing, packing open now are Netrunner card legal for both friendly and tournament matches. Oh, yes. Four secret packs of cards and stickers. These packs contain all cards and stickers needed to play this campaign. There are one pack of stickers and one pack of cards for each side. The red for the runner, blue for the corp. It's important that the players only look at these cards and stickers when instructed to do so. Twelve case closed stickers. These play the players use these stickers to cover complete assignments once they are instructed to do so. Two pads, personal access devices. Each player receives one pad which contains all the campaign information during the campaign new stickers will be put on empty spots or older stickers on the pad only the little stickers on the pad will be affect the game the pads are, the pad zones are ethos effects objective assignments and warnings campaign preparation at the beginning of the campaign you and your opponent each choose a side the runner red the court blue you keep this side for the entirety of the campaign then each player follows these instructions one, choose one of the identity cards from Terminal Directive. 
Your deck should contain cards from this box and a single copy of the core set of Android Netrunner. Mm. Your opponent can decide to play a variant with larger card pools, but make sure both players have access to the same card pool of cards. During deck building, the court must include these cards and six agenda points, less than usual. At the beginning of the first game of Tom's Rector, if that player dis receives three agendas, that will have two agenda points each to play a campaign game. These cards must be present in the court deck. The winner must also include three cards less than usual. At the beginning of the first game of Tom Directive, that player receives free resources to play a campaign game. These cards must be present in the runner deck. Just thinking about arc locking down those um, those resources. Yes, trash those resources. Arc lock down. Good game. <laughs> Take the pad for the side you create a deck for. Open your secret card and secret sticker packs. Take the set of cards and stickers for one set and keep the uh, nearby cards placed behind your divider card with a number one on it. Put all the other cards and stickers back into the box. Each player reveals the cards and stickers from set one each type of card. The sticker will be explained in detail. Be aware when you make the choice that will face pendant repercussions. All the cards and effects you do not choose will be destroyed. Tear the cards or make them unplayable some in other ways. Now you're ready to start playing the campaign sets. The sets refer to cards and stickers behind a given number. Once you instruct to reveal a set, take all the cards and stickers behind a divider card, which will be a relevant number from two which next divider. Not every set contains both cards and stickers. Information cards. Each set. Oh, I'm not even a quarter of the way through. Each set you open contains a double sided information card that contains important information and instructions on what to do with the material. Read this card before you look at the rest of the set. The front of the card with italic text advances the story. Each player can choose to read this story secretly, which is recommended if you want to play this campaign with switch rolls afterwards. The back of the card contains instructions and game information. This should be read aloud. Front side of the cost will be card possibly a minor spoiler, story spoiler. The images that appear in the air in front of you are horrible. Bodies are torn apart, blood everywhere in a small alleyway in Langua Ves Velasco. Three dead, then more images follow. The last one is familiar, you saw it in the newsfeed some nights ago. This is Victor Gray, Sloan, your, your new security chief explains. Big with the UN Committee for Interplanetary Affairs, found dead in his hotel, drowned, was declared an accident. Hmm, possibly a domestic sleeper. <laughs> Sloan stopped for a second, regarded his notes again with his brain machine to face. We know it was murder, covered for up to two reasons. Firstly, the situation on Mars is already tense enough. Secondly, the murderer is a biroid. This should be impossible because the first directive prohibits them from killing a human, or even letting something damaged on. So they made a gesture and a virtual display. Showed a bloody murderer in an alleyway again. Looks like the biroid is still alive. One or more. One more. One or more other than the murder bot is out and about. Sloan crossed his arms behind his back and waited. Now that he got rid of all the information, my team is ready to investigate at your command. A rogue byword would be a catastrophe for many, a great opportunity for others. The main thing for sure is you must find the, must find him first. Backs of the card, no spoilers. Before the first game, add all copies of collected evidence to your deck, then choose one of the two options. I want it to be found and neutralized so you can plausibly deny being involved. Read not today and place the sticker on the slot G of your pad. Stick the ethos effect protector on s slot A. B. This gets the stamp only for cleared personnel. I want this rogue boy found no matter the cost. Read, teach them a lesson and place the stick on slot Geo your pad this ethos. Stick the ethos effect hunter on slot A. Hmm. C. 
sick. Read by the book and place a stick on objective slot on your pad. Read against all odds and place a stick on slot D. Destroy all other cards and stickers in a set and discard this card. Objectives are stickers with intermediate effects that further the investigation and make finding the culprit more likely. Objective stickers are placed on the objective field in your pad. Once you complete the objective, reveal the set mentioned in the text. In that set, you'll find another objective sticker, which would be placed directly above the previous sticker and overwrite the complete objective. Whenever an objective is overwritten by another, the old one has no further effect. Assignments. Assignments are stickers that contain optional intermediate objectives that provide special advantages during the campaign. It is possible to play through the campaign without ever completing one of these assignments, but you shouldn't discard them easily. Once you receive a new assignment, place it on the designated spot on your pad. Every assignment starts information on what is needed to complete it. Once it's completed, it triggers an effect or asks you to reveal a new set. Assignments with card counters. Some assignments require you to add several campaign cards to your deck. The sticker indicates the required number of cards on its left side through a row of number hex field. It's a copy of the card that is destroyed for whatever the reason. Cross out the leftmost hex number of cards you need. Example between between two games, Charlie adds three copies of Shadow Team to his deck. Later he's instructed to destroy a copy of Shadow Team. So he does and crosses out of his leftmost hex field. Now the effect only requires him to add two copies of his deck to his deck. Case closed. Whenever you complete an assignment, you are instructed to close this case. To do so, place one of the Case closed stickers above it. Whenever an assignment is covered by another sticker, it has no further effect. Progress. Most assignments and objectives can only be completed over multiple turns or even games. These stickers indicate what has to be done to make progress. Therefore, have a row to track such progress. Whenever you add progress to the assignment, cross out a hex field in that row. Once it's full, you complete the assignment, you can cross out more than a single field at once. Example, if the court effect destroys two runner cards, Joan crosses out two hex fields on the progress track. Once all four are crossed out, the assignment is immediately complete. Update text. Some information cards or assignments ask you to update your pad or campaign of cards with or campaign card with a sticker that replaces. The text box and unlocks new effects. Once you update your pad or a campaign card, place a sticker as instructed on the relevant slot of the card. The old text has no further effect once it changes changes the thickness or update of your card. You should just leave your deck. Investigate in his Diego text. Once you win a game with in his Diego in your score, you reveal reveal set two and add in his Diego to your score as an agenda with. Zero points. Do something with cards in a remote server. Campaign cards. Campaign cards are special cards in some sets that are only legal in campaign mode. All campaign cards are marked with a yellow version of the set symbol. If you receive one or more campaign cards during a game, you usually put them away until the game is complete. You can add those cards to your deck between games. You can also change other cards in your deck, but this will only work in between games as well. You can never change your identity. Efes effects are stickers that provide special abilities to you for the rest of the campaign. Whenever you receive a new Efes effect, place it on the indicated slot on your pad. There are two kinds of Efes effects, Protector and Hunter. Whenever you receive one, you must choose between them. These Efes types do not represent the more concepts of good or evil. Good or evil. Instead, your Efes depends on whether your instincts make you dodge attacks and retaliate protector or take the initiative and force your opponent to play or on your terms hunter you're not forced to follow just one path each choice makes a new opportunity to think about your ethos dominating ethos the symbol that appears on your pad more often represents your dominating ethos which provides you with different possibilities during the campaign if both your symbols appear equally often on your pad the symbol 
on slot A indicated by in, is indicated your dominant ethos. It says the first decision you make represents your instincts. Warnings. Warnings are stickers that are similar to assignments but are more dangerous to you. Whenever you receive a warning sticker, place an indicated slot on your pad. Warnings can, if you're instructed to do so, be overwritten by new ethos effects. Once an effect once an effect on a warning is triggered, resolve it immediately. Each player must make their own choice as an action is worth triggered. If an action is worth if triggers a warning. Rules clarification cards that are added to the game or in play at the beginning of the game do not count as played or installed. They become active once the effect has brought them into play and has finished resolving. When a campaign. The length of a campaign depends on how fast each player progresses with their side of the story. It's unlikely that a campaign will be completed in a single session of play. <sighs> you and your opponent should continue to play games of Terminal Directive until a player solves the mystery and receives the instruction you have won the campaign. Credits. Ayla Bios Rahim. After her midday prayer, Ayla Raham does not feel calmer than before. Her emotional state was, if she was being honest to herself, still chaotic. Like since weeks ago, since the arrest of her of Professor Atok, she made her prayer mat fell on furl itself, I imagine it's saying. Put it into her purse and at the same time blocked out the professor and his problems with the law. His slashed funding and her unstable academic future. She breathed in deeply, you're doing it right and all will be well. Inshallah. Okay, that's something that's like a prayer to God or by God's name, I imagine. She climbed down the water tower. Strictly speaking, she did not have to be up there to make her prayers. But she felt closer to God if she was surrounded by a bit of empty space. Somehow she was glad about being forced to relocate her laboratory. The campus for agricultural genome research was one of the few places in the city that still had empty land. And it's, it's in this phase of her project she needs... Her, her knees were rather modest, and she'd always loved plants. Not that they're actually plants, she said, even though they were near those numbers addition, she opened the door to the unneeded heart and had, that had become a bad lab. Her creations, she presumed that was the most fitting term, sat on workbenches and dusty shelves and glowed while growing, quite exactly like plants, as, as it seemed. After all, I talked to them well. They looked at least a bit like plants that were growing in their pots, growing new branches and leaves over the time while they were evolving, drawing data from the network instead of sunlight. But they were fantastically complex constructs based on quantum computers, their intelligence growing through endless iterations and forming new processes and subroutines. Sometimes she had to remove a damaged offshoot. Sometimes she even had to break open a pot of network protocols and blockades that prevented her plants from learning. Each of her constructs came from a different seed, a question or a task, and grew according to different patterns. This one analysed the Nasdaq and grew sprawling with thick beautiful leaves. Another one calculated interplanetary travels and had long swing branches for each of the worlds. But the last one was her favourite. She had instructed it simply to learn how to think. She bowed it down and cleaned it the sensor field and invite it to bloom and sh and show its innermost. It bloomed and bloomed and filled the room with a cloud of data she had never seen before, an endless grid of vines, leaves growing into an impossible thicket, all from a single branch. Well, she said, this is interesting. Emma opened a drawer and grabbed her console. Either experiment failed or she had just discovered something very crucial. It was time to find out which of the which of those had happened. That sounds a lot like Apex. 
Apex is a plant. No. That's what you get. Steve Cambridge. I'll elect one or more slip. Your carryout at sync will be very short. Understand? Sorry, boss, said Cambridge. Cambridge. I didn't notice it. He smiled broadly like a dog wanting to please its mistress. It was a good smile. Soft hide. Incompetent, incompetent losers like this. Shepherd believed it. No, Shepherd is female. Cambridge shook his head as he advanced to the intimist of Sync Central Network, nerd with at the of the Manta district. It was surprisingly difficult to play the role of a moderately competent technician, but it was worth it once you thought about the position it granted him in the heart of the network infrastructure of New Angeles. So far it had turned out to be a great cover for his other enterprises. Just minutes later, Cambridge sat surrounded by many humming servers, lockers, and saw its breadth as a small clouds in the machine called air. Strictly speaking, he was already done with work for the day, or more accurately, Alec completed all the assignments thanks to some assistance from utilised for his cause. What would Shepard expect of him? How long should he pretend to need be needed back here? Maybe hours. What should he do? He suspected he could just as well eavesdrop on the official channels as he sent an AI filter out interesting information or value information. Cambridge's favourite of all interesting information. 20 minutes later, as he watched connections moving past him like colourful bubbles and grinned, Sync would never learn of this eavesdropping unless someone opened this, this the panel and checked. And that was whose task? Alex. He would just input and read data secretly, but that was easy. Just another windfall in his lucrative. His eye twitched as he read the parameters of the current data traffic. There it, well, there it is, a huge file strongly encrypted. Impossible to decrypt in a short time, at least not with normal equipment. Damn, it's great that I'm the boss of the entire network from here, Cambridge mumbled. Mr. Harston Shepard barked, and her steps were distinctly audible. On the metal grating in the corridor. Did you catch up on it by now? Kimberly returned to be contrite again. It had worked plenty perfectly before. Sorry, boss, not entirely. Something went wrong with the reboot on set C. I'm just running diagnostics. Shepard was already already gone again. There was no indication that she knew what Cambridge was actually doing, but Cambridge didn't have time to boast about that. He was on something interesting that could retire all of it. Seda Laboratories. We're talking about the end of Byroids, Fader said. A Byroid cannot do what you're describing fundamentally impossible. If they could, they wouldn't be Byroids. Collective eye rolling, especially from Moon. Reader had not given her that speech for the first time. Not even for the first time this meeting. And let's ignore the technical issues for now, Nesquid said. We cannot simply ignore the technical issues, Fader protested again. The directive is fundamental for for public perception of byroids. Yes, I agree," said Nesseg. I can't I can't say that name. Feeder dropped back into the chair, foaming. The people are afraid of the boogeyman killer robot or of the technology that they can't control. The directives are the only reason the public is accepting byroids in the first place. Feeder saw his chance and jumped up again. Without the directives, the buyers would be no more programmable than a human. Public knows that. If we were successful, the public is wrong. Moon, Moon said, "We're trying something completely new. This is our entire reason for existing. I thought you under all understood this. We all do understand it." Emrit said. He stretched his hands out, as if he wanted to press. The hostility back into the glowing glass table, but we don't agree as much on whether this new channeling initiative without a directive is possible. Hmm. Okay, so the first story, this got a plant that's learning lots of stuff, and someone's going to find out what it's learned. I'm, I'm not wondering if that plant is like somehow apex, and you got a person working 
uh, MBN sync and they found like a heavily encrypted data file could that be I don't know I have a feeling this is something to do with Apex I'm not saying that the byroid killer is Apex I'm just saying that hmm anyway I don't know what I'm saying maybe Adam hmm We all understood, and it said as much of a return initiative directed as possible. Sure, it's possible. Strauss threw his her hands up in despair. Everyone in this room is using a brain without a directive to think. Copying a human brain has turned out to be, to not be feasible. Theda said, at least without technical details, he could stay calm, almost pleasant in tone. And even if it was possible, it wouldn't be of use. Unregulated, uncontrolled intelligence is no tool that there is a market for. It would be. He got muddled, then gestured dismissively useless. It wouldn't be unregulated or uncontrolled, Moon said. Biod brains can learn, which can teach our new models ethics in short, teach them to control themselves. The new biod wouldn't need directives, it would have instincts. Hmm. Oh, about halfway through. A single, a single red symbol appeared on the glass of the table in the meeting room moon stopped the protest with a hand wave i thank you all for your suggestions but we have no more time let me remind you that we've just given this project by mr by miss mcintyre miss mcguire herself wait a minute isn't this isn't this wayland i'm sure this is wayland and miss mcguire plays golf uh, she's hb why is Miss McGuire? Okay, maybe this is must be a wedding facility then. Uh, and if you don't want to work on it, you're invited to look for a new job. As always, this meeting was a complete waste of time. Goodbye. She asked herself whether her assistant would omit the last words from the protocol. As the other participants said the goodbyes and disappeared, she supposed she would find out once HR would send her further angry instructions. The director for you, Miss Moon, her assistant said calmly. As if the call from the director was totally normal. Moon screamed inside but stayed calm on the outside. A call from the director could only mean for you for many reasons and barely any of them would cause Moon to be fired. She stood up and smoothed her skirt, quickly checked her hair. I'll take it here, Moon said. Suddenly the director appeared on the end of the her table and leaned forward in her power pose. That had become her trademark. A steal, she said. Good, something went wrong with project. Good, something went wrong with project. Odestria. Okay, so we've got a project name now. Scorpius Defense Systems. Okay, so the other one must have been a HB facility then. It must have been. So what is it then that makes you a drone so special, Mr. Hayes? Okay, so the first one was Jinteki with the plants. Second one was MBN. Third one was HB. So this one is Wayland. Okay. So what is it that makes the drone so special, Mr. Hayes? The man from upper level snatched, snatched out one of the air uh, where it was humming through the test course. Of course, Mr. Hayes panted. I'm sorry, I believe I did not understand understand your name. I did not give it, said the man from upper level. The drones. Yes, well, Hayes turned around as if he could find support or inspiration in the virtual diagrams above his shoulders. He found nothing, took a deep breath and turned back to, to the nameless man. With a hard face, he was wearing a 10,000 credit suit and simply unnecessary sunglasses it's not the drones themselves that are special it's their ai we use a divided layout for modular neural networking that uses fudge logic too let's skip the technical stuff the man from up level wasn't really hit what wasn't really from there he went from a difficult corporation one was higher in the future in, in of the wedding consortium he doesn't understand how all of this worked just just that he had to tell this name's man from unknown division everything he wanted to hear and apparently he wasn't interested in technical details Okay, well, hmm. he stretched his nose and swallowed again. They shared a job of thinking, and together they are, well, something like a huge brain. So the more of them there are, the smarter they become. The man from that field did not wait for his answer. And what if a drone that is thinking about something relevant in the mission is destroyed? Well, there is a certain redundancy, of course, but mainly the type of thinking is always is very flexible. If it forgets something relevant, it can remember it very quickly. 
this was fine as long as he talked about the project it was all fine the advantage comes f is that our drones are much smarter than those of our competitors which gives us supremacy in the market for combat application the man from the upper level shifted around in his chair Hayes lost his train of thought and of course there are civil applications as well the man from the upper level leaned forward tell me the truth is this shared drone brain something like a bioid brain? Haynes could breathe again. I'm not sure if someone outside of the Hasboid really knows how bioid brains work, but as far as I understand, they create they are created with a brain mapping strictly conditional with directives. Our system is more fluid and customizable. However, I can cut them is more fluid and customizable not bound to the original programming he let himself a short smile if we can bypass the technical difficulties our swarm brain will be smarter than a biroid smarter than a biroid the man from the upper level let go of his humming of the humming drone which immediately joined the swarm again slightly slightly staggering wouldn't that be something say hypothetically speaking someone builds a biroid that works exactly like you described no directives adaptable brain able to create new links and spontaneously evolve the man from the upper level leaned back and placed the tips of his fingers together hypothetically speaking how valuable would a would such a bio be to your research um hypothetically hazel swallowed very useful the man from the upper level smiled with the charm of a razor blade <laughs> right okay i imagine everyone's seen the deck lists already so i'm not going to go over that Nester, process automation. Yeah, so um, Ayla Bios Ramin is the runner that goes against. Yeah, is the runner that goes against Jinteki. She seems to be more of a shaper. Yes, yeah, so she uses plants maybe so she's more seems to be more of a shaper. Interesting. Steve Cambridge is a criminal that goes against NBN. Quack. <laughs> Cedar Laboratories. Okay, this is HB, I believe. Yep, come in. Did you go work with? Not today. Oh, did you see Liz Lana downstairs? Yeah, so I didn't know what was going on with that. Was it for you and Lauren? Okay, I'll, I'll cook it and do whatever. Yeah. I had some of the salmon and potato. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, that, I, thought you and La I thought Lauren was going to come back to learn me something to eat. Okay. Well, you can yeah, I do it now, don't worry. Yeah, yeah, just fine. You okay? Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, so Cedar Laboratories, um, accelerate, it seems to be HB accelerated beta test, Don's campaign, Marilyn campaign, which recycles itself, aggressive secretary. Snare, which I can't use. Black level clearance, which I can't wait to get my hands on. Enigma Eli 2.0, which we knew the IT what was going to happen. Had to happen. Scorpius defense systems, which is which is Wayland. Hardened servers, interesting. Mr. Stone. <laughs> I'm so jealous. If you can, the name is Jason Drummond Brown. It's a good name. Consider it. Colossus. Hortum. Okay. Raw paste data. 
the murderer. She was glad the corpses were gone. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, that's it. Let's have a look at the broad. Ah, oh, well, that was still good, though. Still really good. <laughs> 